time now came for the visitation of the third spirit, the ghost of Christmas yet to come. As the last stroke ceased to vibrate, Scrooge remembered the prediction of old Jacob Marley, and lifting up his eyes beheld a solemn phantom, draped and hooded, coming like a mist along the ground towards him. The phantom, slowly, gravely, silently approached. Am I in the presence of the ghost of Christ Moss yet to come? Hmm? The spirit answered not, but pointed onward with its hand. Well, lead on, lead on, the night is wailing fast and it's precious time to me, I know. Lead on, spirit. The ghost of Christmas yet to come conveyed him. Indeed, this spirit did not stay for anything, but went straight on till they reached an iron gate. Scrooge paused to look around before entering. A churchyard. It was a... Uh, a worthy place. A worthy place. The spirit stood among the graves and pointed down to one. Scrooge advanced towards it, trembling. Uh, before I draw nearer to that stone to which you point, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of things that that will be, or the shadows of things that that may be only? Still the ghost pointed downward to the grave by which it stood. Oh, men's courses will foreshadow certain ends to which if persevering they must lead. But if the course be departed from, why then the ends will change. And say it is thus with what you show me. The spirit was immovable as ever. Scrooge crept towards it, trembling as he went, and following the finger, <coughs> read upon the stone of the neglected grave his own name. No. Ebenezer. No, no, I don't want to die. Holding up no. his hand to the Please. last friend, how his fate no. reversed. I don't want to die. He's on alteration in the phantom's Where are you going? Where are you going? It's rough. Come back. Come back. Shrunk collapse. Where are you going? Collapse and dwindle. I don't want to die. Where dwindle. are you going? Come back. Dwindle. Come back. Dwindle. Into a bedpost. Huh? <laughs> yes, yes, indeed, the bedpost was his own. Well, that's my bedpost. <laughs> the bed was his own. That's my bed. <laughs> the room was his own. Oh, this is my room. But best and happiest of all, the time before it was his own, the mega men's in. I should have been the past, the present, and the future. The spirit of all three shall strive within me. Oh, heaven and the Christmas time be praised for this. I say it on my knees, on my knees. <laughs> He was so flooded and so glowing with his good intentions that his broken voice would scarcely answer to his call. His hands were busy with his garments all this time, turning them inside out, putting them on upside down, tearing them, mislaying them, making them bodies to every sort of extravagance. I don't know what to do. I'm as light as a feather. I'm as happy as an angel. I'm as merry as a schoolboy. <laughs> I'm as giddy as a drunken man. Well, a Merry Christmas to everybody and a Happy New Year to all the world. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> he had frisked into the sitting room and was now standing there perfectly winded. Why, there is the saucepan that the gruel was in. And there's the door through which the ghost of Jacob Marley entered. Oh. And there's the corner where the ghost of Christmas present sat. Oh, and there, there is the window where I watch the wandering spirits. Oh, it's all true. It's all right. It all happened here. <laughs> really? <laughs> For a man who's run a practice for so many years. Sky, 
chair. Mary Bell was glorious. Glorious. Gone Mary Jell Bell. Nothing you despise. What's today? I. Oh, um, uh, what's today, my fine fellow? Well, he doesn't know what today is. What? It's Christmas Day, of course. It's Christmas Day. I haven't missed it. The spirits have done it all in one night. They can do anything they like. Well, of course they can. Of course they can. <laughs> Hello, my buck. Hello. If you happen to know the poulterer on that one street but one at the corner, I should hope I did. Oh, what an intelligent boy. A remarkable boy. <laughs> do you know whether they had sold the prize turkey that was hanging up there? Or not the little prize turkey, the big one. What, you mean the one as big as me? What a delightful boy. It's a pleasure to talk to him. Yes, my buck. It's hanging there now. Is it? Well, go and buy it. Walk yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am in earnest. Go and buy it. Just bring it round that I might give directions where to take it. Come back with a man and give you a shilling. Come back with it in less than five minutes and give you a half crown. The boy was <laughs> off like a shot. He must have had a steady hand at the trigger to get a shot off. Oh. So fast. <laughs> I shall send it to Bob Cratchit's. He shan't know who sent it. It's twice as big as his son, Tiny Tim. <laughs> Scrooge dressed himself in all his best and at last got out into the streets. The people were by this time pouring forth as he had seen them with the ghost of Christmas present. I'm walking with his hands behind him. Scrooge regarded everyone with a delightful smile. <laughs> He looked so irresistibly pleasant in a word that three or four good human fellows said, Good morning, sir. And one in particular said, Good morning, sir. What's well, that? Good morning. And a merry, merry Christmas to you. A merry Christmas to you too, my boy. Merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> Scrooge often said afterwards that of all the sounds ever to hit his ears, those were the blightest. In the afternoon, he turned his footsteps towards his nephew's home. Though he passed the door a dozen times before he had the courage to go up and knock. But then, he made a dash, and he did it. I'll get it, my dear, I'll get it. Who can be at this time of the morning, you know? Ray? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bless my soul, who is that? Why, it is I, your old Uncle Scrooge. I, I have come to dinner. Will you let me in? Yes. Yes. yes, come in, yes. come in, come in, come in. <laughs> Let him in. It's a mercy didn't shake his arm off. Yeah, Screw put it home in five minutes. Nothing could be higher. His niece looked just the same. You look just the same. <laughs> so did Topper when he came. You look just the same as my niece. <laughs>